Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna convince you to play the Reaper in Guild Wars 2. And I'll give you a bunch of reasons why you should play this amazing uh, Elite spec, aside from being the most badass spec in the game. That's what got me into it in the first place. I started playing the game as a thief, cause I main drug and assassins in previous games, then realized thief's stealth lasts only uh, 4 seconds, even in PvE. Then I said f*** that. And I'll give you guys a tip before I start uh, throwing arguments at you. If you're just starting the game and wanna choose a class, or as we call it, profession in Guild Wars 2, search up all the professions light specs for example sometimes you see the basic ranger in the character selection and you think to yourself oh i hate bows i don't want to play a ranger but what you don't know is that uh, the ranger can turn into a healer with a staff or a berserk in nature tank with two maces or merge with its bed and turn into an assassin yielding two daggers if i knew the necromancer class can turn into a melee death knight with a big ass scythe i would have chosen that from the start so my point is each uh, profession in Guild Wars 2 has a variety, so don't judge it uh, based on the character selection. Reaper is the Necromancer's Elite spec for Heart of Thorns expansion. It's the first Elite spec released to the Necromancer. It was built to deal with the hardest expansion in the game. So right now let's get to the video and the first reason for choosing a Reaper, as a wise man once said. Fuck you, I'm a helicopter! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck was that? I swear dude, I'm going crazy over here. Pro probably got AIDS from that one guy. Fuck you, I'm a helicopter! Whoa. Shit! Fuck you, I'm a helicopter! Yup, that's it. By the way, guys, that was uh, Lord Waffle. He was the Guild Wars 2 YouTuber. His videos were so hilarious. I used to watch him all the time. But he suddenly deleted all his videos in his channel and uh, stopped uh, making content. And jokes aside, Reaper is the master of AoE damage in this game. Need to clear out a horde of enemies in uh, one full swoop? The Reaper is your go-to choice. With powerful AoE skills that are called shouts and also the Reaper uh, shroud skills, you can freeze and pull enemies to you, clear out any uh, number of enemies in a second or two, without even losing any health. The Reaper comes with a great sword. You have a pool like Mordekaiser's E from League of Legends. A big circle of darkness that damages and blinds enemies and corrupt their buffs that means turn their buffs into damaging conditions you have a stab that applies vulnerability that means you can now do more damage to the enemy and now we with the coolest name ever grave digger that resets a ton on an enemy below 50 percent hp now to the reaper shroud skills you get access to a ton of utility with one uh, click you have strong auto attacks made even stronger with the permanent quickness buff you get when you choose a certain trait on the reaper trait line a cool dash skill that blinds enemies too a shield that gives you 66 percent damage reduction mix that with the 33 percent damage reduction uh, you get from protection buff and yeah this is why i say reaper is the tankiest class in the game you also have probably the strongest and widest aoe skill in the game that also applies poison and in guild wars 2 poison means the healing reduction and lastly finish up with the executioner scythe it stuns that chills the enemy and uh, execute too the lower the enemy's hp the stronger the damage and uh, it leaves out a nice field which opens up a combo for frost or that gives you 10% damage reduction. We also use this combo uh, in Condition Reaper a lot. Another reason to play the Reaper is the survivability and tankiness. Because it's part of the Necromancer profession, Reaper has two health bars. Yeah, you heard me right. This shroudy bar fills up when uh, things around you die, and it acts as a second health bar. It drains slowly when you use Reaper Shroud, acting as a shield for you when you get damaged, so you can actually preserve your actual health bar. Aside from that, Reaper has uh, access to tons of lifesteal and health leech, and there is a trait that can actually give you a revive when you get downed, so you can get back to battle if you died in the first place. This trait also heals you when you're Reaper Shroud but that's not our subject now. In conclusion, Reaper is probably the tankiest spec in the entire game, cause even if you go glass cannon, and even as a cloth armor class, you will be tankier than any other spec, while doing tons of damage, you can even generate toughness using a trait line. Toughness means armor by the way. Now let's get to the next reason. Having the ability to solo most things in open world, and even group content, Reaper is probably the best class for solo players. I'm a solo player most of the time, and uh, in any game I always look and play the classes that makes me solo things and do hard stuff on easy mode. You don't have friends? Just summon some of your minions. You're a necromancer. They might not be the prettiest, but they're reliable sometimes. Some nerds gonna tell me, oh I can solo stuff with my guardian celestial and I can solo stuff on my celestial whatever class. In Reaper you can actually solo stuff with 
full power. You don't even need celestial or you're literally unkillable. Now enough explaining. I'm bored of editing. Now to answer some questions that I know gonna be on the comments tab. Why do I look cooler than you? Well, I have a full video about all the skins I have. You can check it out. It's called my Raven Reaper. That's my aesthetic. How do I wear pistol and torch on my Reaper? Uh, using Weapon Master training from uh, Secrets of Web Secure expansion. I have a video for that too. Should I go Power Reaper or Condi Reaper? If you're a new player, just go Power Set first. You can be able to do group content. Then you can start working on a celestial set so you can solo stuff easier and go condition reaper. And for people who watched the video uh, so far, I'm doing a giveaway of 30 uh, mystic coins. You can maybe uh, craft dark harvest, the ascended weapon of the reaper, or just sell it on DP if you want. And to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment your in-game name along with the four numbers code that comes with it. So I can mail you your gift if you want. And that's it guys. I see you next time. Bye bye.